he and I would make um, a stage out of the empty cornflakes boxes his family donated to our pantomime. A family full of hungry sons and space. A place to stay where time and paper flew from shelves into our games of future selves. We craft characters and scenes and tables full of painted feasts, wrestle facts from unsolved crimes and romantic storylines, resolve all conflicts, mise en scène, applaud at curtain call, the end. But afterwards and privately, the epilogue allowed us to enact a wrathful god's omnipotence. Uh, and write it all, unstaged puppets swinging at pendulums wrecking ball, watching our creations fall. Gone. With little trace at all, all tied it up. And after supper, put to bed. Stories in our sleepless heads turn philosophers to ask. What if all we've ever said or dreamt and lived and made seem real were wiped out by a wrecking ball? Or a monster killed us all? Raspberries tried to get their own back. Cows revolted over milk. Boats all sank just suddenly. If poles reversed polarities an earth had a moon like gravity what if a great big god like fist smashed right through what it created what if we've just imagined it What if a virus froze the planet and everything we knew and all the minute practices that made my me or you were suspended suddenly? What if we slept for a century? What if when we wake up all of this is history? And what if it's all just a list of mistakes? And what if a force field fell between our houses and we could only look towards each other, each other's homes, drifting through dreams of all the things we used to be or think we were or could have been or one day maybe. And what if we lost the magic key to allow us our release. What if the lot got stuck? What if they let us make life up? Build the set. Imagine the rules. Nobody has to go to school. You could choose just what and how to play. Imagine a different sort of thing. What if all of it is 